Hi everyone, I am here now at Cebu City and I will show you a, like a 360 degree view of this building that I am here in. <laughs> that I'm in. Oh my gosh, like I was in a Filipino family for five days and I can't barely speak in English. But anyway, uh, let's start off here from this point where there is a. Um, a devil's backbone plant which is so interesting because it is flowering my my camera is not that good into zooming compared to the other camera but I'll talk about that separately but we are here in Cebu City and you are facing the uptown side of Cebu I mean where I am is actually a kind of uptown location that is Marco Polo this building on the far right sorry left maybe you know left the other right <laughs> but that building right there is Marco Polo if you've been here in the 90s it was called Cebu Plaza Hotel so it's in the uptown Cebu and those two big buildings that are done are called Marco Polo condominium and the ones the yellow with the green kind of cap at the back is city lights which are kind of um, a, a legendary place here, kind of landmark in Cebu. So one of the first, I think, five condos that was built in here. I think it was built in the 90s or maybe early 2000s. Alright, to give you a tour. I like this place because it's so windy and there's a lot of plants right here. And this is again our kind of start of point. So we should end here in this um, location. So we go here. It is a windy Sunday, lots of green still, which is like, you know, for Cebu City, I thought like we did a really bad um, deforestation things, activities in the past, but it seems like pretty okay. This is now the other corner facing the north. This is a portion of Cebu IT Park. As you can see, they are still trying to build a lot of condos and structures here around this area. It's wet on the side. We have to be very careful because it was raining. Yeah, the tropical climate. So it rains like 10 minutes and then sunny again. And in the afternoon probably would rain. So here, probably you have seen this in some of other videos on some vloggers based in Cebu. This is Cebu IT Park. All these buildings, houses, or caters to many businesses across the globe so JP Morgan is here you know, JP Morgan Chase Telstra um, offices of other companies that are based in Manila is here that is also another landmark right there waterfront hotel and you can see the building of Lexmark Lexmark is an American company based in Lexington and that building of building on this section is called Ayala Cebu Business Park. So, House of Ayala. And this is down this building. Kind of there is a garage for buses. Oh, there's a kind of car shop with a little cafe. Maybe a quick visit later. So, there is a good shot of urban living here in Cebu City. This is Salinas Drive. And this building right here, this big one, I forget the name of this building. This is a new building next to Waterfront. This is La Guardia Flat, Calix. I used to work in one of these buildings before when I was supporting a big American BPO here. Oh, there's another guy revving his, his motorbike. Gotta wait. All right, we're back. So I hope you can hear me well. There are kids right here. I was kind of, um, I would say, lazy Sunday for everybody. I might put an emoji for them because YouTube is a bit sensitive to kids that can be visible online. This is like kind of the heart of Cebu business district. So I hope it's steady enough. can hear a big bus. No, there's a truck. 
Look at all these plants right here. They're all thirsty, but I don't know where to get water. There's no maintenance on a Sunday. Oh, there's again a lot of construction going in here. Hmm. Seems like business is still booming, even at some point. Oh, they have a little garden there with sweet potato and moringa. Oh, this is a nice day. I can even see here Cebu Strait. I think that's Cebu Strait. The body of water between Cebu Island and Pohol and Leyte. So I will be walking through this path. So I hope I won't slip. Cebu Aeronautical School. I'm not sure if that is still open though. That is a popular school here in the 90s. It's called GATS. If you want to be a flight attendant something or technician. Shot of Cebu Business District more clear. Oh, surprising. The SMC side I can still see here. Amazing. I like this view. So I can see a view of Mandawe, Uptown Mountain Cebu, and to the south of Cebu. So you see that there's a body of water right there. Maktan is right there. Kind of not so clear anymore. And this side is towards Cebu South. Like, let's move here. Please. Okay. So, I'm not sure if you can see or if I can zoom in. Let's see this. This is, oops, I cannot zoom. But maybe I will take a picture and then I'm gonna zoom out. I can see here SM Seaside. Like the tower of SM Seaside. There's big cranes everywhere. That is the mountain side of Cebu. I can see the two buildings of one pavilion. That building in the center that looks pretty old. That's another kind of landmark here because it's an old building here in Cebu. It's called Windland Tower. The big Mormon temple right there. Here. And they are constructing. So this is how it looks like from the inside. Huh? Interesting. Okay, because I only see it on the other side. And there's also again construction going. This is one of the universities here, University of Southern Philippines Foundation. I've been here a few times um, due to activities that is required by the academy when I was still doing recruitment. And that entire area where there's greens are the fields part of the university. Cebu North Winds Hotel is here. And so let's go to the other side. Oops, I have to be very careful. There's always benches around in this little balcony, rooftop balcony. I'm a bit surprised how much green still remains here. I felt like when you're walking in the street here, there's not so much greens. So there are still greens beyond the buildings right there. That's the main entrance, by the way, of the university. There is another building here, which I don't know what. Um, I think that is still along, yeah, Salinas Drive. I forget the name of this hotel. This is also a popular hotel 10 years ago. I think I've attended a wedding here in this hotel. I think this is something like Crown, like kind of Royal Crown Hotel. Or maybe that's my hotel in Cambodia. Something like with the word Crown. Um, the mountainside, it's a bit cloudy. I live there in the mountainside somewhere. This is the church of La Hook. It's called St. Therese. I have my little nephews baptized there before. So I've been a godmother. This is on the other side of the building. You see the comparison. You have a nice big building next to these houses that has tires. Just to make sure when it's windy day, it does not fly. Uh, new de demolition is happening. Probably there would be another building that would be um, built there. Those are nice decent buildings. Maybe probably apartments. When I was looking for an apartment here because I work here before for a couple of years, I cannot really find one which is like cheaper than 10,000 pesos but decent and kind of livable, you know, with the kitchen. So there's a lot of snake plants here. maintained by the condo um, 
facilities team. Oh, there's an alokasha even. Alokasha, alokasha. It's just a kind of alokasha. It's just a nice plant if it's so big and you can just have this one in a corner of your house and it gets painted white. So it accentuates the pale color of the wall. So a few crotons and tea plants. Oh, there's somebody there who has a nice red bougainvillea. Again, but I can't zoom in. Typical Philippine neighborhood. And we're almost back to the other side of the building. Oh my gosh, it's 10 minutes already. Devil's Backbone. Again, Devil's Backbone. I will make another video about that. That's actually also a popular old plant in the 90s. Like most of these plants, like Raven, Monstera, they just recently get popular. But Devil's Backbone is such a hardy plant that you can plant it in an island in a major highway. They will not die. All right, so we're back here in this Devil's Backbone next to Marco Polo. So thank you for watching. <laughs> a quick turn Cebu City from my rooftop.